Hello everybody, welcome to another demo of one of the new Inertia packages that I've been working on. So I'm now working on a form components package and a modal package and now it's time to show this new modal package. It's actually not quite new because it's a part of the split uh, modal component. So I brought all the features from that component now over to Inertia. I've got here a demo application that's quite simple, it's just a list of users and uh, yeah, I can edit a user. so. I can uh, change the name, maybe change the role to editor. And this is just uh, a basic Laravel inertia application. Nothing special, no third party packages, uh, just the boilerplate that you can get with the uh, Laravel starter kits. So this is my app.js, and I've got a few pages. So, for example, here, uh, my users page. So I uh, retrieve all the users as a property, and here I loop over them. Here you can see that edit link. Here I've got my edit user form. I use the regular use form um, from uh, Inertia itself. So that's really nice. So we get validation errors and uh, redirects and all that stuff. So yeah, that's my form. Uh, nothing special to see here. But what I really like to do is open this in a modal instead of a new page. So let's do that. Let's go to users. Let's go to that link. And I'm gonna change this link with modal link. And that's all we need, all that we need to do uh, at this page. And then over here in edit user, I've got my container here. And this container is by the way, really simple. It's just a, it's just a single diff uh, with some styling and a div for uh, the flash message. Uh, so back to the edit user page, I'm going to change this container to modal and you don't have to worry about this stuff. It's all optional for uh, for some other features that I can show you in a minute. Uh, but in essence, you just need this modal component and let's scroll to the bottom, change it here as well. So now we have now we have modal. Let's refresh the page. And now when I click on edit, it opens in a modal and all things still work. So I can uh, maybe submit it with an empty name and I get uh, form validation. I can change the role back to admin, hit save and my flash message still works. So that's all great. And what's really cool is that I can actually tweak this model. So for example, I can set the size. So maybe I make it uh, really small and I want to position it uh, on the top of the page. So now when I open it, oh, that is not the correct one. It's not small, but SM, like the uh, Tailwind uh, prefix. Um, so now it opens at the top and it's a little bit smaller. So that actually looks uh, better. And instead of adding it here to the model, you can also add it to the model link component. So we can also paste it in here. And that's just the same. And that's really nice because now you can reuse the same modal and the same routes, but you can present it in different ways. So actually um, now it opens in a modal, but you can even use a slide over. So that it just opens in here and you can uh, maybe uh, open it uh, on the left side. Yeah, that stuff all just works. So let's change it back to uh, to a regular modal. And what's really cool is that you can even load a modal in a modal. So you have stacked modals. And that's really nice. And uh, that's really nice in this case because here we have this add role button. And you don't want to open another page for adding a new role and then having to refresh this page because you need to refresh this, uh, this select drop down. And so, yeah, let's just uh, click on add role. And you can see that there's another. Uh, modal popping up. So now I can add a new role, maybe a super admin, hit save, and then it's already listed here in this select drop down. So that's quite magic. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, but that just works. So now I can set it to super admin, hit save, and then if I open it again, yeah, it's saved uh, to the database. So how does that work? Um, in my form, let's scroll to the select drop down that's here. I loop over the roles 
and create an option for each role. And then here I have my modal link to open that uh, modal to create a new role. And here we have this close event. So whenever this modal closes, we are gonna reload the roles that are part of this page. So in the edit user page, I have roles coming in from the controller or actually just from my web routes file because it's just a demo application. So here I just pass the roles. Um, that's here. So yeah, here we just uh, say, okay, if you close this modal, then reload this roles property. And that just works. So that's great. Uh, we have reload, but there's also stuff like um, close. So you can close the model from within. Um, there is an, uh, there's support for custom events. So models, stack models can talk to each other. That's uh, really nice. Um, and you can customize it however you like. So this is just like the, the default template with the nice rounded corners and uh, the, the, the backdrop and the close button. But you can actually, of course, provide your own template if you want, or you can tweak this one. You can add classes and yeah, all that stuff. So yeah, that's uh, basically it. That's the demo. Um, I still need to write some tests and write documentation for it. So it's probably a few more days before I can release it. And it's just an npm package, so it's, it's not. Uh, there's nothing on the PHP side actually. So here in the routes file, you can see I just return this edit user page like a regular inertia page. There's nothing to change here. Um, and yeah, like what I said, it's cool that you can open it from multiple pages because you can imagine that this add role model, you probably want to open it from more than one page. Like it's nice that you have it here, but there are probably other spots in your application where you just want to add this role. Uh, uh, you want to have this add role button. Uh, yeah, you understand what I mean. So yeah, that's it. Just a few more days, then I'm going to release it. And um, I hope you like it. All right, see you next time. Bye-bye.